Norma Merrick Sklarik was the first African-American woman to pass her license exam to officially become an architect in both New York, 1954, and California, 1962. Sklarik is most recognized for designing the United States Embassy in Tokyo, Japan, in 1976 and the Terminal 1 station at the Los Angeles International Airport in 1984. After designing several buildings, she became the first Black woman to own her own architectural practice with two women, Margaret Siegel and Catherine Diamond, from 1985 to 1989. She earned the nicknames the Rosa Parks of Architecture from author Anna M. Lewis, for her major accomplishments as a Black woman in a male-dominated field. In 1980, after her departure from Grun Associates, Sklarik became the first Black woman to be elected a Fellow of the American Institute of Architects after being the first African-American woman member in 1959. From 1980 to 1985, she also worked at Welton Beckett Associates, where she served as a project director of the $50 million construction of the Terminal 1 station at the Los Angeles International Airport. After Welton Beckett Associates in 1985, Sklarlick developed her own practice where she co-founded Siegel, Sklarick, and Diamond with Margaret Slegel and Catherine Diamond. The firm was the largest woman-owned firm at the time. Siegel, Sklarick, and Diamond put out proposals on five projects and won all five commissions, an unheard of battling average, batting average. Hoping to work on larger projects again, Sklarick left the firm in 1989. She continued to mentor many young women who aspired to be architects worked on designing the Mall of America, and joined the John Jetty Partnership as principal into her retirement in 1992. Following her retirement, Sklarlick was appointed by governor to serve on the California Architects Board and served as chair of the AIA National Ethics Council for several years. A former president of the AIA said of her, she was capable of doing anything. She was a complete architect. Understanding that discrimination would play a major role in the architectural field as a female and African-American, she remained determined and paved the way for future young women to do the same.